What's going on guys and welcome back to our Carolina Hurricanes NHL 24 franchise rebuild. In our last video, we barely got away with a victory over the Florida Panthers winning an overtime 5-4 thanks to our leading scorer, Marty Natchez. He had the overtime winning goal in that one. Power play strikes James and that's excellent movement along the perimeter and just waiting for your time to get it to the middle of the ice and execute. That's a great slot shot. In this game, we're going to simulate up until that Tuesday the 19th game against the Islanders. And that's the game we're going to be playing today. So, without further ado, let's get the simulating started. And here we are at our first matchup with the Toronto Maple Leafs. They are 7-2-1 and and one in their last 10, having a very good season. Maple Leafs currently sit second in the Atlantic, just behind the Bruins' six points. So let's simulate this game and see what happens. And we take the loss, 4-2. And then we have a back-to-back -back here up against the Ottawa Senators next. Senators sitting 6th in the Atlantic, 72 points. Let's see what happens. And we win that one, 3-2 over the Ottawa Senators. And here we are in our matchup versus the Islanders. They are 3-6-1 in their last 10, not having a very good year. Of course, Carolina beat them in the playoffs last year in 6 games. Let's take a look at their stats on the year. They are led in points by Matthew Barzell. He's got 59 points in 59 games. Looks like he is hurt, so that's going to be a huge missing piece for the Islanders in this game. Bo Horvat has 54 points. He's second in, uh, on the team. Brock Nelson with 47. Jean-Gabriel Pajot has 47. Anders Lee has 44 Noah Dobson, good young defender, has 39. Kyle Palmieri has 36. Goaltending, usually a strength for this team, but they have been struggling this year. Ilya Sorokin, 19 wins, 30 losses. That is unbelievable. He's got a 901 save percentage and a 3.3 goals against. What is wrong with Sorokin this year? Varlamov right behind him. He's got six wins, eight losses, a 917 save percentage and a 2.7 goals against. What is going on with the Islander goaltending tandem? All right, we've got another good one here as the Carolina Hurricanes take on the New York Islanders. Let's go. Hi, everybody. We're in Long Island. So much great hockey history here. Potvin, Bossy, Trotsier, Smith, and it is buzzing in here tonight. And we are about set to drop the puck on this one. The Hurricanes will start with the puck as they win the opening faceoff here. And he takes the pass. Picked up along the boards by Horvath. The Hurricanes take it along the wing. Sends it into the offensive zone. Slides it up to Palmieri. Handles the pass. Pallet's got it against the boards. Ref's arms in the air. We got a penalty coming up. And it's a quick pass to Ajo. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. Slick feed. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Let's it go! And that shot gets caught in traffic. Whistle blows, stopping the play. When you elect a cross check, you're sending a message to your opponent, but if the official is there, guess what? You're gonna march your way to the box. As they step into the face-off circle, let's see if they can take advantage on this power play. For the scoreless game, James, an opportunity to go up by one. They'll want to gain possession right off the draw and set the tempo. Nice play shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Gets it out of his own end. Puck picked up by Slavin. Quick pass to Foss. Oh, and he gets a piece of the puck to deny them there. As a defender, you love when your goaltender has this kind of rebound control. Makes your life so much easier. He knows he's only one goal away from his next milestone. That's why he's possessing the puck tonight. Make it a double G! The great love save! 
Well, they always say to be great, you have to get uncomfortable. As we look at this last save, this looks uncomfortable. Stretching your body, finding a way to make yourself as big as possible to get to the save. That's what he did, and that's why the save was made. Face off coming up here. They were buzzing moments ago. Yeah, they really were, and it's a tough spot for the goaltender. Everyone else can change, but he can. He's got to outbattle his opponent now. Tonight by Soroki. Back at the point, they set it up. And he takes the dish. Denied with the blocker. Here we go. They've really ratcheted up the intensity here now in the Ozone. Oh, they have really got the cycle going. Now it's picked up by the defense. Desperately trying to get it out. And they're able to get it out and finally get a breather. Quick feed to Clutterbuck. Huge steal in his own end. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. And he makes a save there. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. Here's a chance to the middle. And that's stopped. From one point man to another. Scores! And he's all smiles as he lights the lamp. He lights the lamp for number 100 of his career. So no longer double digits. Triples. A special moment hitting the century mark. Well, this is just a great job to get the hands away from the body and deflect that puck into the net as it changes direction. Goaltender doesn't have a chance. The Hurricanes have to be feeling good about this start here, Cheryl. Yeah, I know it's not rocket science, James, but you certainly play different when you have the lead than when you don't. And when you're the away team and setting the tone, that's a good start. And off the face-off, they take possession. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. The Islanders take possession in the neutral zone. Two goals in a minute, 10, James. Cheryl, you stress consistently. Keep your feet moving on the ice, and that pays off. Well, they got the pedal to the metal right now. They're like a freight train. Anytime you're in the grade A scoring chances and you're funneled tight to the net, you want to make sure you get a quick release shot off. There's coverage there. It's all about accuracy at that point, and he doesn't miss. Carolina's been rewarded early in this one by putting lots of pucks on net. Drury's won the draw. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Islanders gain possession. Hooked away at center by Pesci. The Hurricanes get a hold of the puck in their own end. Anderson's last save is one that's going to be remembered for a while, James. It's going to be on the highlight reel. It's on one of mine now. I mean, he stole one there. It was all but in, and that desperation and compete level, it makes the save. Here's a shot. Glove save. Don't forget, the team store, always accessible online 24-7. Uh, you can also check out the team store in the arena as well, open seven days a week. The Hurricanes have been the better team in this first period. More scoring opportunities, and as a result, more goals. Dumps it into the Ozone. New York's got a hold of it along the wall. On the wraparound! Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Nelson's been struggling to put up some numbers, and it can be frustrating to head into a pointless streak and it continue. When that happens, you start to get down on yourself. It can really affect your confidence. So you got to focus on the little things and try and keep good habits. Puck moved over to Coleman. The Islanders have it now. Moves it to Coleman. Thunderous use of the body of the hit. Some players get into the game by physically engaging early. There's a fine line there, but that was executed perfectly. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. From off the wall and onto a stick. They've got the defense outnumbered. And misses over the net. Taken along the wall by Peugeot. The Islanders slide it through center. The Hurricanes have a hold of it in the defensive zone. 
Moves it quickly over to Stahl. Comes up with a monster save in front. Ajo's a great playmaker. He's got that third eye zone ability, which means he reads the ice so well and finds his teammates with great passing plays. Ajo's won the draw, and they'll look to set up. Scores! Rips it off the pipe and into the net. Wow! You almost needed a double take there, James. When you hear that sound, sometimes you think it's out, but this one goes in. This goal all comes down to winning the face-off in the offensive zone, James. Everyone knows their responsibility. It's about making sure they get to the spots that they need to get to and get off a quick-release shot. Great goal. The Hurricanes are dominating in almost every facet of the game here in the first. And they've got the puck after that neutral zone face-off. The Hurricanes played along the wing. Oh, and he whiffs on it. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Peugeot. The Hurricanes have really impressed me, James, with the way they've started this game. You knew they were ready for it and prepared. Showed it right from puck drop. Here's a short pass to Mayfield. Takes a shot. Wide of the net. You got to get a shot on that, James. You get in tight, you have an opportunity in that scoring area, and you don't even get a shot on net. Not good enough. The Islanders have it against the wall. Paul Mary's got it in the defensive end. Moves it to the middle. Oh, and he keeps it here. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Slavin's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. Hammers it on net. And here comes the judgment from the official. Being down by a bunch of goals, and then you get running around with frustration and out of control, and that's the reason why you took a penalty. Well, I love the sequence that they used earlier on the power play, and they were successful on it, James. They may look to set up low off of one side, look to cycle the puck, but they can also go to low to high very quickly. But the key is that you got to move the coverage so that you can open up your lane, and then you can attack the net. The Islanders will play it in their own end. Quick pass across to pull up. The Islanders take it along the wall. Turns it over. Oh, and he completely muffs the shot. It's a straight-up race for the puck. Carolina's got a hold of it against the wall. Quick pass to Sizikis. Being saved by the goaltender watching that one. This shot's come from the middle of the ice, and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. Takes a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. The Islanders will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. Puck exits the zone. Quick feed to Natchez. Scores! There it is on the power play! Their power play has been really efficient tonight, James, and they're really gaining momentum off of it. And often when you're drawing this many penalties, teams start to play different against you. Well, I really like the effort on this goal, James. He shows a knack for the net and being real hard and heavy on his stick as he's able to put that rebound in the net. Goaltender's got to clean that up, though. That one got kicked right back out. Carolina's taken full advantage of their scoring opportunities with a comfortable lead here in the first. The Hurricanes take possession after that neutral zone faceoff. The Islanders gain possession along the wall. Moves it to Clutterbuck. Great use of the stick to poke it away. And they'll go the other way with it. Great play by Romanov. Puck grab by Pesci. A little banging and crashing now. Well, look at this, Cheryl. Here we go. The parade is officially underway. It certainly is. And everyone in the building, you can hear the crowd just jeering with their frustration, including everyone on the bench, completely deflated right now. A non-stop procession to the penalty box for the home team. Another power play opportunity coming up here. They've already scored on the power play tonight, James. And if it ain't broke, 
you don't fix it. The coach has got them all ready to go, fired up. They've worked endlessly on this setup. The man isn't working tonight. And a good save on the play as action continues. Svechnikov's been on fire lately. Everything he throws at the net seems to be going in. When it's working for you, you gotta be confident. You feel like nothing can go wrong. Kakaniemi's looking to win this draw on this man advantage here. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Coleman. Takes a bump but hangs on to the puck. All alone! Oh, denies him on the play! Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Taken by Terabinen. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. The Islanders are going to serve two for tripping here. Gain control of the puck. Here's a short pass to Slavin. Fires it on net. Just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Wow. Varlamov's come into the game in relief of the starter and had to be sharp early. Really effective to be able to get that puck touch early and give his team some confidence making that first save. recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the face-off. Offense is on face-off, and he wins the draw. In front of the net, and the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Chance to reset here on the draw on this man advantage. Paul Mary's quick stick off the draw wins possession. Dobson's lugging the puck. Works it across to Palmieri. Intercepted in the offensive end by Ajo. And he had the answer on that play. New York's looking to break out. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Looking for space inside the D zone. Tries to get it to Romanov. Poked away by Svechnikov. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Scooped up along the wall by Romanov. Sasikas is out of the box, but they are still short-handed here. Back to the blue line. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Long reach, Both trying first. to shake the defender. Ten more seconds. He's in. All alone. Oh, a spectacular save right there. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, it was all but in, and he steals it because of that last attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. New York's got the puck in the defensive end. Some would say it's not a big deal as they have a comfortable league and they don't execute on the power play. I would say different though, James. Habits are everything. It's about moving forward and pushing and getting uncomfortable. This group certainly just looked comfortable. Carolina's taken advantage of their opportunities offensively so far here in this first. More shots, more goals. New York's got it and they're on the attack. Denies them! Grabbed along the board by Engvall. And he takes the feed. Oh, what a save in front! Anderson's made himself look big on that save and almost made it look easy. That's a high shooting percentage shot because it's coming from a great A scoring area. Here in the late goings of the period, it's 
nothing. This has been a one-sided affair right from the get-go. New York's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Clock ticking down here inside the first period. Dumps it in. New York's got the puck along the wall. Long lead pass to Holmstrom. Moves around along the half wall. And he takes the feed. Both teams getting a good sweat on after this first period. We've got lots more in store, and we're coming back with a clean sheet of ice next. Opening face-off here in this second period is about set to go. Here we go. Lots of time left in this one, but certainly a lopsided affair to this point. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up through the first 20 minutes? The Hurricanes have a comfortable lead heading into the second period here, James. They can't get complacent. They need to continue to do exactly what they were doing, be aggressive, manage the puck, and fill the net. Slides it diagonally to Svechnikov. Skates to the crease. Oh, what a pad save by Anderson. Oh, and that just climbed a little too high there. What a chance. Well, that's what you call a grade A scoring chance. Why? It's in the middle of the ice. But you got to find a way to hit the net and give yourself an opportunity to get the score. Passes the puck over to Svechnikov. Here's a chance. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Carolina's been the more aggressive team offensively. Look at the shot clock and just look at the score. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Picked off. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Wallstrom. There's a shot. Big time stop. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well, and this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Tries to get it over to Romano. And now he tries to get it across to Pasho. Knocks the puck down with a stick. I don't think anybody was hanging onto the puck after that hit. They put the puck into the offensive end. Barlamov's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. The Hurricanes continue to lead here in this second period, looking strong offensively. Stahl's got the puck, and they'll go on the attack. The Islanders have it now. Sent into the offensive zone. Carolina's looking to break out of their own end. Quick pass to Shea. Moves the puck. Wax it into the offensive zone. The Hurricanes pick up Steven are on the attack. Carolina's got a hold of the puck now. And now it's grabbed by Mayfield. New York's got a hold of the puck. Here we go. Puck's in deep. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. side by Barlama. Tries to feed it over to Ajo. Routine save made by Anderson. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Sends it in on the attack. The Islanders move the puck in the defensive zone. The Hurricanes go to work on offense. Picked up along the boards by Chatfield. Blocked in traffic. New York's gained possession along the boards. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Oh, dumped right over the boards. Oh, well, yeah, and he's in the opponent's bench. This one's embarrassing, James. I mean, you're in your opponent's lap here, and you got to crawl your way out back to your side. And a stick in the lane deflects that one away. Pass across to Nelson. Sends it over to Horvath. Yeah. 
He's got a little jump. He's in all alone. Can't get that one to go. Oh, that's extremely frustrating when you do the work to get in on a breakaway and then you get nothing in return. A missed opportunity. New York's got the puck against the boards. Here's a shot. And there's a glove save on the play. The Hurricanes have been putting lots of shots on net and have been rewarded for their efforts. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Go, 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 go. The Islanders have it behind the net. Carolina's got the puck along the boards. The Islanders take possession in the defensive end. Great use of the stick at center by Natchez. Broken up in the neutral zone by Lee. Look out, here they come on the attack. The Hurricanes get a hold of the puck in their own end. Receives the pass. Natchez is the spark this team needed right from puck drop. He's got three points in the game, and every time it touches his stick, something happens. Kakaniemi's got the puck along the wing. The Hurricanes looking against the half wall. Slides the puck down low. Quick feed to Natchez. Slides the puck over. Huge steal in his own end. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Loses his balance on the play. Jocelyn for the puck, but still maintains possession. Sends it in deep. New York's got possession of the puck. Angles it over to Lee. Intercepted at center by Svechnikov. On the attack along the boards. Puts on that. Oh, going wide. Moves it to Wallstrom. Slides the puck across to Lee. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Orlov. Gains the zone from the right. Throws it in. Pulak's got the puck in his own zone. And here's the pass to Engvall. Sends the pass over. Good stand-up hit on the play. The Islanders have it against the wall. Grabbed along the board by Sizikas. Moves it quickly over to Clutterbuck. Made the stop on that play. Moves it over to Stahl. Carolina's on the attack. Here's a chance! Just a simple save by Varlamov. Taken along the wall by Pellet. Poked away at center by Shea. He's got a step! He scores! Oh, wow, what a play! Well, he uses his speed to break away from his opponent and reads exactly what the goaltender is giving him to be able to convert. What a beautiful play. Looks over his shoulder and the presence of mind to know where everyone is and keeps moving forward. And what a finish that is on net. The Islanders now need to find a way to get a few more of those. Yeah, they need them because if they get that pushback and they can get a couple more, they'll feel like they have an opportunity to win the game and then the sticks get heavy on the other side. But a lot of work to do to make that happen. Pullman's won the draw at center. The Islanders play it along the boards. Tears him up. Oh, misses the net. You know he'll want that one back, Cheryl. Well, he certainly will, James. That puck is following him around, and you can see he saw the opening, but wasn't able. Welcome back. James Sabalski ready to bring you all the play-by-play. The puck has dropped on period number three. A chance for them to try to save some face here after being dominated thus far. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? The Hurricanes have been fantastic through 40 minutes of play, James. They've been good on both sides of the puck. They've gotten themselves a comfortable lead. Now it's about protecting it. You still want to push when you have the puck, but you have to be in good spots to protect defensively. This is not the way they wanted the game to go. Just undisciplined, taking a ton of penalties. They'll have to reset and refocus if they want to find a way to get on top. And they'll roll the power play unit right back out. Having success earlier on the power play, they recognize where the openings have been. But what I love about it is they're not afraid to change it up. The motion on this power play in these 
sequences have really been the reason they've been successful. Center and feed. Can't connect on the play. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. The Islanders will play it from the defensive zone. Takes the feed. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. Svechnikov's not going to like the call, but the officials see tripping on the play. And it's four against four here with the puck set to drop. Four on four can be pretty confusing when it comes to coverage. You know that your defense have the forwards, but the forwards have to be able to contain the D as well. So it's complete defense out there. Whacks it out of midair to keep control. Slides the puck across to Horvath. Carolina's got control of it now from the road end. And he loses control of the puck. Here they are on the attack. Picked up along the wall by Romanov. The Islanders now have a short power play after the penalty expired. And there's a puck at the point. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Every coach is going to tell you, get in front of the goaltender and take away their eyes. It was the goaltender's job to find the puck. He finds it and makes the save. Pachot is ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. The Islanders start with the puck in their own end. Passed up ahead. Textbook poke check by Pesci. Dumps it in. Ten seconds left. Spechnikov's almost back on the ice. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. The Islanders fire blanks on the power play. We're back to even strength here. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Breakaway! Stopped on the breakaway! What a save he made there! Well, I loved how he challenged the shooter on this, James. He didn't sit back in his net. He came right out to the top of the paint and said, if you're going to beat me, you got to find room. Carolina's on total cruise control early in this third period. The Islanders win the draw on their own end. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Quick pass across to Shea. And that's just out of reach. Scooped up along the wall by Pesci. Here's a short pass to Faust. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Play with some dead penalty coming up. You can see the frustration as he slams the penalty box door, James. That's his second of the period, and he knows he's put his team in a bad spot. has been excellent and he's doing everything to stand tall in the crease now it's time for his team to start playing for him they got to get going north but the first thing they need to do is retrieve the puck and stop chasing the game egg ball side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. grabbed along the boards by burns quick pass to svechnikov here's a rocket of a shot oh and he lays out to block it what a warrior Engvall's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. There's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. Ajo's getting called for tripping. Puck set to drop. We've got some four-on-four four coming up. Well, four-on-four four is similar to three-on-three. Three. There's more ice available, and you can't just dump it in. You want to possess the puck and try and create numbers around the ice. That's two-on-one all over. Great heads up play with the stick by Slavin. At center ice now. He grabs the puck. Gets the puck in deep. New York's got the puck. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Here's a chance. Pokes it away in his own end. 
Anderson's got the puck. He's going to hang on for a whistle and slow things down. Well, he's been shelled, hasn't he, James? He's weathered every storm that's been thrown at him, and now he elects to pounce on this puck. It's a nice, safe play. He anticipates well, and he holds on for the whistle. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And that was Crystal! Especially teams are often the difference maker. It's why you spend so much time in practice working on them, James, and they took advantage of their opportunity. That's what you call taking advantage of a fortuitous rebound, and you have to be able to smell it and sniff it out because he has great hand-eye coordination to be able to pick that one up and put it in the back of the net. The Islanders haven't had a lot of things go their way tonight, but they finally got a positive here in the third. They're going to have to outnumber their opponent if they want to claw back from this two-goal deficit. They're running out of runway. They've got to find a way to get some chances. New York's won the draw. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. Takes a whack, but still hangs on. And now he angles it across to Nelson. Good defensive stop with the poke check. From the point, they take control of it. Quick feed to Tara Vinen. Palmieri's moving the puck through his own zone. The Islanders in transition at center. Poked away at center by Nelson. New York's got the puck against the half wall. Oh, big time save by Anderson. The Islanders grab possession to the puck. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. And he's knocked off the puck there. And change is coming up front as the puck is sent in deep. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Swap up. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Nelson's got it along the wing. There's a great glove save by Varlamov. Puck is frozen and we'll get a face off. Detroit's up next on the schedule. Tickets still available. Go to the box office or you can get them online. The Hurricanes have been the aggressor offensively tonight as they continue to lead in the third. Back underway and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. The Islanders take it across the line. Great reach with the poke check. Dumps the puck in. The Islanders have it behind the cage. Moves it to Clutterbuck. Feeds the puck to Engvall. Busted stick on the play. These equipment managers got big budgets now there, Cheryl. Well, they got big budgets, but it doesn't seem like they last, does it, James? I mean, no. look at that one. It just ricochets and snaps him, too. Crazy. Puck scooped up by Pulak. Moves it quickly over to Pellick. Stop that one. Carolina's got a hold of it along the wall. New York's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. And the defenders come up with the puck. Taken by Pesci. With the stop. The Islanders scoop it up along the boards. Sends it in front. Scores! What a finish on the play! exactly why you send bodies to the front of the net, James. You want to create a screen, and the goaltender drops into the butterfly position as a default and is battling to find the puck. Can't find it and beats him clean. The Hurricanes probably don't want this game to end the way things have gone here, and I know we're in period number three, but Cheryl, what a night. Yeah, it's been terrific right from puck drop, and they've been consistent throughout the game, and consistency is always the word that coaches talk about, and if they can finish this off with this nice lead, that's the word the coach is going to be preaching after the game. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Gets it over to Fast, and that's picked off in the neutral zone by Hunt. Puts it on net. Oh, he put it just wide as it hits the outside of the post. New York's players and staff are going to be extremely frustrated here. They keep wiring it off the post and getting real good looks, but their shots are just a little too fine. The Hurricanes offense has paid off in dividends tonight. No shortage of scoring chances, and they have capitalized on many. Carolina's going to start with the puck in their own end. And he slides.
denies it quickly to Plunting. Sends the feet in front, and he denies that great opportunity there. Just here in the late stages of this frame, the Hurricanes have taken control of this one, now leading by three. And they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Oh, and there's a great save by Anderson. It always amazes me that goaltenders often make this save look easy with all of that traffic in front and screen. I mean, it is important to battle and find the sight lines, and this goaltender whoop, does a great job of making it happen. And a heads-up kick pass over to his teammate. And that pass goes off a stick. Puck picked up by Natchez. The Hurricanes playing along the blue line. He's got the puck with all sorts of traffic around him. The Islanders gain possession along the wall. Puck grabbed by Pellick. And now it's grabbed by Coleman. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. With possession along the wall. Big save in front. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice is in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Carlin Maid has been with us all night, standing by once again at ringside. Ajo's been able to provide some offense in this matchup, guys, so I have to give him the edge in this one. The Islanders take possession off the faceoff. Paul Mary stick handling in his own zone. Takes a shot. Denied by the puck stopper. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Carolina's had a lot of success tonight on their scoring chances, and look at the result here late in this third period. Off the draw, he ties up his opponent. Fires it into the offensive zone. New York's got a hold of the puck now. Looking for space inside the D zone. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll be forced to tag up. There's the whistle. We got an offside. Carolina's looking to close things out here. They've been the dominant team all night. Hard to see them taking their foot off the gas now. Puck scooped up by Romanov. Reads it perfectly and comes up with the takeaway. Rocks him. There's the final horn, and this one's in the books. And the losing continues, and you know, partner, you watch this team, you can just sense they lack confidence right now as a unit. Well, I mean, it's easy to lack confidence when you're not winning games. You just keep feeling like you're getting pressed down further and further, and they're gonna have to find a way to climb the mountain, if you will, James. And it's gonna start one shift at a time. And I know it's kind of cliche, but they gotta get back to the drawing board, back to the video room, and try and reset. Well, we certainly had a great time tonight. Everybody in the broadcast crew as well, and from all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Sabolski wishing you a safe and a healthy night, and we'll see you down the road again soon. All right, and the third star of the game, Vol... Uh, <laughs> oh, the goaltender who came in for Sorokin. Slavin gets the second star, his one goal, one assist. It's a bit of an ugly, uh, ugly third period there, but we managed to hold on. And the first star of the game, Marty Natchez, three points, one, two goals, one assist. He gets goals 100 and 101 of his career. Congratulations, Marty Natchez. Okay, and with that game finished, let's take a look at our stats. We are led in points by Marty Natchez. He's got 78, 28 goals, 50 assists. Excellent year for him. Andrei Sveshnikov right behind him with 76 points. He leads the team with 33 goals. 43 assists. Sebastian Ajo in third with 66 points. Michael Bunting with 25. Brent Burns has 50. Tara Vinen has 49. Kakiniemi has 48. Seth Jarvis has 38. Jordan Stahl, 32. Slavin, 29. Martinuk, 26. Pesci, 25. Faust has 23. Orloff has 22. Chatfield has 17. Jury, 15. Nosen 12, Shea 11, and Brandon Lemieux 3. Of course, we also have the NHL leader in wins in goal for us. Frederick Anderson, 38 wins, 14 losses. 
Still seven shutouts, a 9.16 save percentage, and a 2.56 goals against. Excellent year for him. Auntie Ronsa's got eight wins, six losses, still sub nine save percentage, and just over three goals against. And for our next game, we're going to match up with the Toronto Maple Leafs. That'll be live in the next video. Maple Leafs having an excellent year, currently sitting second in the Atlantic, just behind the Boston Bruins. Okay, and that's going to do it for this one as our Metro and NHL leading Hurricanes defeat the New York Islanders 5-2-2. Carolina sitting on top of the Metro with 95 points. They could very well be the first team to 100. Led, of course, by the all-star Marty Natchez. He's been electric this year. Absolutely amazing. All right, so I want to thank everybody for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.